Ryan. Minister, it was said last week that the COVID inquiry was close. Well, I suppose I want to know how close. Is it closer than the election, closer than Christmas? I just need to know at this point, can we get some answers? Um, we have had... I've dis Sorry, did you not hear me? Sorry. Apologies, the COVID inquiry. I've asked for a date, Minister, for this four times now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, do we not think that the hospitals and the nursing home staff deserve closer? Like, they have now, a lot of them have left due to mental stress. And the next thing from that is, I suppose, also, lessons need to be learned. We're all very aware that lessons need to be learned from this. So I really need to know, are we going to have this inquiry soon? Is it going to be a fully independent inquiry, or is it going to be more of the fox house in mind and the hens in the hen house? And absolutely need to know, can it be soon? And I suppose the other side of that is, I'll continue to fight for it, but maybe if we could get an answer, I'd really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you Deputy, Ken Corley. It's great to see Deputy Ryan, you have your voice in this house. I'm very struck by the fact we have more former Sinn Féin members than actual Sinn Féin members in the, in the chamber at the moment. But thanks for raising this issue. I don't have a direct answer for you. Uh, I, I will, well, actually, because we won't even go into your history, Chris. Oh. <laughs> actually, uh, uh, but you are where you are, you make your bed, you can lie in it. Uh, <laughs> Um, it was great to see these two have escaped. So, uh, but just, just, just to say, I will, uh, uh, Deputy Ryan, I, I don't have a direct answer for you. I'll get that for you and I'll respond to you in writing.